the Kobe Young situation. Uh, I respect that and understand it, but um, it's still a pending legal matter. So uh, Kobe's competition status hasn't changed and we don't have any timelines or really expectations on this process. He is back practicing with us and uh, using the facilities, but that's all I can really comment on that. Um, any questions about practice or what we got going on, I'll be glad to answer. Coach, what's your thoughts? Can you break down for me how you're going to deal with the roster rules that you go to 105 and what like your walk-ons are going to do after this? And you also have the transfer portal opening up mid-playoffs. How does yeah. all work out? I don't really know, Roddy. I, I, I can't answer that question. I wish I, wish I could. Um, we haven't been told um, anything on the walk-ons in terms of uh, we don't so know. So I ask daily, and uh, a lot of it is um, conference to conference, and a lot of it is the legal case in California, how it resolves itself and the timing of that. So um, I don't really know. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be you know, it's a strange 30 days, I can tell you that. Kirby, today uh, Trey Scott was named a Boyles Award nominee. Just what has he meant to this program, and then specifically this season, the job he's done for you guys? Yeah, he's a he's a rock. He's a he's a he's a pillar at this place, and uh, he's one of the guys that's been here the longest, which I have a lot of respect because um, we don't we don't do it easy around here. You know, we work tough schedule, we work a hard schedule. I'm very demanding of uh, our coaches, and I have high expectations, and he, he meets those. He uh, he is uh, tremendous with his group. He's tremendous with other groups. He um, inspires uh, people with his story, but you know he cares about these kids. Um, he's a tremendous father and husband. He's really what college coaching is all about. Um, the guy pours into these kids so much. It means so much to him that he wants to give back to them and change their lives, not not about playing time. I mean, you look at the relationships he's had with the Zion Lowe's, Jordan Davis, Devontae White, Jalen Carter, I and mean, the guy has just had tremendous relationships, and he keeps in touch with all the guys he's coached. And uh, I, mean, I can't say enough good things about him, so he's definitely deserving uh, of that honor. <coughs> Yeah, with Colby, what exactly is he doing in practice and how do you guys go about ramping up someone to come back to competition when you don't officially know when that might be? Yeah, I'm going to stick with what I said. You know, I, I respect everybody has a lot of questions, but I can't really say much about it. I mean, I'd rather not talk about our, our practice stuff. Uh, just about the running back, I guess, Coach. I mean, what have you seen from, from, from the Robinson guy that, as far as Trevor goes? Is he able to do anything at all right now? <coughs> Trevor has been able to run. Um, he's running well. He hit 20, 21 miles an hour yesterday, which is really good uh, for him. Um, he looks he looks good, but he hasn't been able to do anything with us. Rod uh, has has done practice contact, um, has done taking reps. He's uh, he's looked good out there. Uh, Branson has too. Branson's taking some. Uh, I didn't get to see the last part of practice to know how much Branson and Rod did early in practice. They did take some reps with the twos and roll through there, just seeing where they are confidence level and where they are uh, mentally. Um, you know, they've been kind of out of contact for a while, uh, but both of them did practice and did some good things. We talked a good bit this week about how different this week is because of the Friday game. To this point in the week, how do you think your players have, have handled a very different looking week? I mean, great. We had a good plan for it and uh, you know, we just keep calling today, Wednesday, today's Wednesday. And that's what we talk about all day. And we do Wednesday practice and we do Wednesday work and Wednesday install and <coughs> it becomes normal for you. Yeah, just over your time here with him, how have you seen Glenn Schumann grow and develop as a coach? Uh, Glenn's always been wise, innovative, uh, uh, great teacher. You know, both his parents were educators and teachers and coaches and you can see he, he uh, he enjoys uh, being in front of the group, in front of the room, um, and teaching different ways, thinking outside the box. Uh, and he works extremely hard. So, like, he, he, he's dedicated and uh, spends a lot of time on his craft, uh, whether it's scheme or uh, fundamentals or relationships. He's uh, He was good when he started, but he's just more experienced now. I have two questions for you. 
So I love that Humphreys got a lot of snaps this past game. I think he's like 50. And then uh, will you tell me a little bit about your freshman tight ends? We saw one of them, you know, kind of make a couple plays. Uh, yeah, London. I mean, we, we were we didn't have as many wideouts available, so London stepped up his uh, uh, quantity of reps, his volume of reps. Um, he's capable, probably, of more than that. I mean, he's in good shape. He, he plays hard. He's smart. He plays multiple positions. Uh, he does a really good job. Um, we, we wouldn't. I mean, we prefer to play uh, more people and be able to share that load. But right now, we're dealing with a lot of uh, you know a lot of injuries and attrition at that position. Uh, at tight end. Colton and Jaden have both grown up. They've been down there on the scout team. I get to watch them daily compete against you know good outside backers, good defensive linemen, good DBs, and they continue to grow and get better. Um, proud of both those guys. Looking at some of the numbers, Kirby, it seems like Georgia Tech has done a very good job of protecting their quarterback, that offensive line. Does that offensive line match what you would expect from Brent Key, offensive line guy, just the way they play? Yeah, they got great numbers. They run the rock. So if you run the rock, that's times you're not throwing the rock. You know, I think somebody said they had five sacks. I don't know if that's right. Five sacks in the entire year. That's crazy. I mean, I think they're one in the country. Well, they got athletic quarterbacks. They got really good protection schemes. Uh, they get the ball out in time. Buster moves the pocket. Uh, and they run the ball. So if you run it enough, you don't have to worry about sacks. Uh, this, ain't no, this is not a sack game. This is a, a strap it on, strike somebody in the mouth, uh, keys, fits kind of game. I mean, they know it is, we know it is. No, 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 no way around it. Um, but they've done a tremendous job in it. Coach, one of the things I heard anyway about people, when people talk about Georgia Tech and the job Coach Key has done, this team now believes it can win every game it plays. When you play teams like that, you believe at that time for what makes them so desperate to, to win games again? Well, it's not about them. I mean, I, I don't. I, no offense. I mean, I, I do agree with everything you said. He, that 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 has changed, but it's not. It's not about what they think. You know, it, it's about what we think and how we play. Mm -hmm. We have to control that. We have to have a, a seeking contact attitude and enjoyment of a a street fight. And you know, not everybody loves that. So it's one of those things that you find out a lot about yourself when you get to play a really physical football team. Uh, like these guys, so that's that's what we focus on is, is us. How do you evaluate the play at left tackle for you guys this season, and is Ernest available to play this weekend? Again? Don't know yet. Um, he's done more this week. He's actually worked at uh, right and left. Um, I'm very pleased with the play at our left tackle. I mean, outside of a probably two quarter performance there uh, where we had to throw the ball a lot. I mean, I think we played well at that position. Yeah, what have uh, Christian Miller and Dylan Bell been able to do at practice this week? Christian Miller, not much. Um, he's been banged up, uh, recovering, running, doing some treatment stuff. Uh, Dylan Bell a little bit. He's done some walkthroughs with us and taking some reps. <coughs> but we're just trying to get those guys healthy and ready. Another for Coach? Have you ever watched the uh, – when they do the playoff rankings on Tuesday nights? Mm, we, we got work. I mean, we, we, we start right now. We start at 6.30 and go to about uh, 10 or so. So usually my phone starts blowing up with text, but I don't watch it. Anybody else? What is your 24 hours, the team's 24 hours before this game look like? Is it like a Saturday game or is there anything different? No, we're treating it the exact same. I mean, Thanksgiving Day is a Friday for us. Friday is a Saturday. It will be nothing different other than we'll have Thanksgiving team meal and we'll have uh, no school. But outside of that, it's, it's all the same. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Happy Thanksgiving.